This is Drew Morgan, and you're watching Ted Carr from Free Living. We got like here. No one up there, right? Trying to show you like close up. Hey, Drew. Hey, Drew. Now close it. <laughs> or else I will look. It's impossible. What's going on, guys? We're here with spiritual Tasha Mama. Shut up. <laughs> what do you, Tasha. What? That's what I said, right? <laughs> no, you said my YouTube name. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the spiritual Tasha Mama, aka Tasha. And uh, this is her little one. <laughs> Soul. Yay. And uh, today I want to talk about the benefits mm. of a raw food diet when pregnant. So the benefits you found while eating primarily raw whilst pregnant and raising kids. High raw. High raw, yeah? Yeah. Oh. It's... How do you explain it? If you've, if you've ever eaten like high raw or raw at all, or high fruit, I feel like it's not just raw. Most people haven't. Most people haven't. So it, how would you explain it? It's just... I feel like it lubes everything up. <laughs> like, you're high. 90% of Americans are dehydrated, right? Mm -hmm. So, if you're drinking water, if you're getting hydration and your vitamins and minerals and nutrients from your food, which, if you think of it, a lot of people supplement. And the only reason why anybody would ever supplement is because you're deficient. Which. So, they're dehydrated and deficient? Yeah. Which, I mean. One of my favorite quotes that you said was if you're not getting your vitamins and minerals from fruits and vegetables, where are you getting them from? For real. <laughs> people find it, people find out you're eating just fruits and vegetables and they think, aren't you going to be deficient? <laughs> it's like, what vitamins and minerals are not in fruits and vegetables? Exactly. They're all in fruits and vegetables. So but how do you feel, like what difference do you feel when you eat primarily raw versus primarily like processed foods? So I've had, well, I've had, this is my third pregnancy. And it's been the easiest pregnancy by far. Like, I can't even explain it. It's not only the way that I eat, I feel like it's a balance of things. Cause you could eat, I feel like you could eat high raw, high fruit and still be completely stressed out. You have no stress management and you're still gonna be acidic. You're still gonna be super unhealthy. From emotions. From emotions, yeah. yeah your, emo your emotions, we're emotional beings. <laughs> but um, being high raw and doing yoga and doing stuff that I love and like being in the sun and the ocean and stuff. It's like, it's made this pregnancy. A lot of times I forget I'm pregnant. Like I know that I'm pregnant, but it's been very, very enjoyable. I'm 38 weeks <laughs> and I'm due in, I'm due in a couple weeks. Why has it made it enjoyable though? Like, do you feel lighter or do you feel like more clear minded or what? I feel more connected, I feel lighter, I feel definitely more clear-minded. When I eat, if, if, which is not very often at all anymore, <laughs> if I eat like high processed foods or just like too much of a high processed food, I feel like crap. My body wants real food. And for me, from my understanding, real food is comes from Mother Earth, a whole, whole fruit, a whole vegetable which most vegetables are fruits. So really- Yeah, everyone's trying to say, what's your favorite vegetable? It's like cucumber. That's, That's a, fruit. a fruit. Like what's your, what's your other favorite vegetable? Zucchini. That's a fruit. How about, well, what's your actual favorite vegetable? Tomato. Like that's a that, fruit. That's a fruit. So tender leafy greens. Um, yeah. Anyways, next So, um, yeah, what, what would your diet, if you're eating primarily raw, what would your like three or four staple foods be? While, while, while pregnant and while raising kids. Well, we do a lot of smoothies every morning, so we do bananas, and then papayas and avocados, right now, actually. So, papayas, avocados, and what's in the smoothie? Bananas. Bananas, and what else? We do bananas and papayas. <laughs> bananas, papayas, and avocados. That's exactly what I'm eating. <laughs> so those are the staples. We got some avocados right there, actually, right? Avocado. My favorite is avocado and lime. Yeah. For me, lemon and limes make everything taste better, especially avocados. And for me, it also helps digest the avocado, which 
not that you need help digesting it, but if you do and it feels better for you and you like it better like I do. Yeah. Everyone has their little thing. I yeah. realize everyone's got their little thing. Tasha's little thing. Tasha's little thing is uh, lemon, lime, <laughs> avocado. <laughs> Big but. thing. I'm like, if it's avocado and it doesn't have lemon or lime, it's not the same. Yeah. It's still good. It's still good. But I like But th Those would be the staples you'd recommend? Yeah. What about well, if you're, in, what about if you're Cal here, what about people in California? That's a whole different story. Whatever's in see, I would recommend whatever's in season near you. Bananas, dates, and persimmons, maybe. Maybe it's watermelons and peaches. So whatever's in season, whatever's good. California has a pretty good variety. Yeah. Because they can grow year round. I right. came from Utah, and the only thing that's ever in season is during the summer, and that's like peaches and. Yeah. Stuff like that. So anything that you can get local and in season, stock up on that. It's also going to be the cheapest usually. Yeah. Because it's in season, and that's you're going to get more nutrient dense food that way cool. too. Cool. And you said this was your easiest pregnancy over the past three. Why is that? From the way that I eat. So you're just eating cleaner. Way way cleaner. Awesome. And how how fun is it to be pregnant and uncomfortable? No you're, it's it's not fun. I was telling him like imagine a seven pound baby in your stomach right now <laughs> like it's it's not Especially for guys like first of all you can't imagine that but <laughs> Imagine that and then on top of that just like nasty food just bubbling yeah, up. Yeah, not cool mm -hmm. All right. Well, thanks so much for the interview. Thank you. I'll see you uh, in the ocean <laughs> Let's go swim